Hey everyone, welcome to Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. I'm Insetic, with me is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? So, this is the Generation 6 version, or rather the PlayStation 2 and Wii version of the game, developed mm. by Page 44 Studios. Neversoft made the main version, and, you know, Page 44 was asked to do this version. Um, Same thing as before, they usually try to carry over as much as they can from the... Yeah, carry over as much as they can, but they have a lot more limitations, obviously, due to console hardware and such. But, you know, they... You know, they did as many, you know, not shortcuts, but ways to cut down as they could. Uh, You know, Mm -hmm. simpler textures, no NPCs, you're the only one really riding around, or rather no movable objects. And they actually got at least the levels and kind of the feel pretty faithful to the oh, Gen 7 version. You'll sort of, yeah, see how it looks like. Hmm. A skateboard is more than four wheels and a piece of wood. It can be the thing that takes you somewhere, and I'm not just talking about a destination. Skating can change your life. It all depends on the choices you make. Hardcore guys skate for one person only, themselves. They don't need trophies or fame. They skate till it hurts, and then they skate some more. And if someone gets in their way, Well, that person's gonna get wrecked. Riggers are innovators. They see potential where others see nothing. From fixing a busted spot to making a new one where no one's ever skated before. Once they build it, though, they've still gotta be crazy enough to use it. Dude, are you sure about this? Career skaters take it to a whole nother level where a paycheck is on the line. They skate so you'll know damn well how good they are, and you will know. They fly around the world, get their faces at magazines and on TV, and get paid to do it. Total rock stars. How you skate is who you are. It's that simple. Yeah, so this looks pretty one to one with the other one. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, what really is the difference here is that all of the levels, all of the areas are separate. It's like in Project 8, where instead of, you know, one, one big overall world, yeah. area, uh, they're all, you know, separated. And also, this game tracks, this game handles progress in a area-by-area area kind of way, instead of in a... Uh, you know, pick an episode and go through that sort of way. Huh. Yeah, there, like, there will be... This This will basically be all of the tutorial stuff, but, like, when you go to the second area, there will be the story events that happen there and some story events that they moved to happen there. Um, and you, like, can't go on to Area 3 until you've done enough stuff in Area 2. So, actually, the... It is, I I do feel a little annoyed because over the course of this Gen 6 Proving Ground version, we are going to get to see a bunch of content early, sort of, compared to the Gen 7 version, and it's also going to be cut up to hell. You're not, you're barely going to understand what's going on, and then when we finally do an episode that, you know, shows that stuff, like, for, like, two weeks later in Gen 7, you'll be like, oh, okay, now it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I kind of almost wish they did their own thing a little bit more, but... You know, when I see games like this, it always makes me think of, like, uh... Like, if you imagine... I don't know, the the old, uh... You, you would get, like, some really popular game. Ah, you know what, I'll t- tell you about it later. <laughs> After the cutscene. Yo, man, check this out! Oh! Oh! Oh, my legs are blown! Hey, aren't you Ardo sorry? Hey, what the hell are you doing here? On tour, man. Just doing some demos in town. You should check this guy out. Yeah? All right, then. Let's see what you got. Yeah, so they cut you out of the cutscene. Yeah, yeah. Your model is never in the cutscenes, and actually some cutscenes go to first person. Wow. Instead, to to get around that. Interesting. What I I was going to say was the... um, uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of like when you 
when you see there's like a really popular game out and then like somebody tries to make like a, a mobile ripoff port sort of thing <laughs> yeah you know and uh that's what these games these gen 6 versions remind me of you know is a kickflip like they have access to the audio and stuff and the the cutscenes, but otherwise it feels like a like a really faithful rip off. <laughs> yeah, or like when someone takes a movie and then makes you know the assholes cut, and it's <laughs> yeah. like forty five minutes long and it's just the scenes they want. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, same uh, you know same engine as the previous Gen Six games, though. Again, they. Page it must be chopped to hell at that point. Yeah. Page forty four did try to be pretty faithful in adding in new mechanics and actually stripping the special tricks list down quite mm-hmm. a bit. In you know, in adding some of the special tricks that you know are, are now in the Gen Seven version. Um, yeah, but you know, I am I am emulating this like I did uh, Project Eight, and I will say that this feels tighter. Feels a little better than um, the emulated Gen 6 Project 8, which I complained about being kind of a little loose, slippery, maybe a little delayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing really with the emulation here is I need to play this on, like, base graphics. I can up the settings, actually, in, you know, PCSX2 and get it to run, but then it does start to break some things with Nail the Trick. Oh, uh, I can see that. If yeah, I leave it on, you know, OpenGL software, sure, it runs at native resolution only, but you everything works. Yeah. And I do want to emulate because, uh, especially with this game's color palette, you know, recording directly, even with progressive scan from a console, will mute it to kind of get the, get, get the yeah. colors more muted. Yeah. It'll end up coming out really fuzzy and blurry. Yeah. Also, it's kind of funny. This is just a minor thing, but it's kind of funny how, like, big the wheels are to mm. your board compared to, like, you saw the snippets that they just took from the Jed 7 version for the tutorial there, and the wheels were, you know, normal-sized and small, and then here they're, like, I don't know, you've got monster truck skateboard wheels, kind of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of, like, makes your skateboard look cute. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty interesting. You know that what that reminded me of the way you, you your board like got all janked up because you spun it in the wrong direction or whatever. Just reminded me of like trying to solve a Rubik's cube, and you think you're making some progress, and then you do a couple more turns, and now you've lost your way, and you're like, oh beans, Oof. this is all gone to yeah. shit. Yeah. You know. Oh man, everyone knows that feel. Yeah, I don't know how to solve a Rubik's cube. Yeah, I, I don't know. I uh, I just assume if I ever, like, come upon one and want to do it, I just assume I'll, like, figure it out, kind of. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, the way I solve a Rubik's Cube is I seek out somebody else who knows how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and then I <laughs> hand it to them. You ask them to do it? Yeah, I just tell them to do it, because they yeah. clearly enjoy it more than I do. Man, don't look so bad. Are we looking at the same gap? You got this. Ah! Whoa! Awesome. Come on, man. You telling me you can't clear that? Jesus Christ. All right, so the aggro kick has also been added to this version. Cool. And- yeah, that was an example of the first-person cutscenes where, you know... Yeah, that was a little bit weird, but not horrible. <laughs> yeah, if that's what they had to do, then... Yeah, they made it work. Yeah. This looks like it's recorded from the other version. Right, right. They basically took the Jed 7 versions and, you know, downscaled them. Right, for a little bit. They did a better job here, downscaling, <laughs> than when they took stuff, you know, from Jed 7 for Project 8 and moved yeah. it down. Also, I... Again, I'm playing this on the PS2. I cannot imagine how the Wii version did that. Like, do you have to do some Wii mote movement? I would for imagine, every yeah, it's probably some kind oh, of God. Wii wrist flick or something. Anyone who played this on the Wii, tell me how it was. I'm sure they will. Yeah, please do tell us how. Yeah, how it controlled on the Wii. Yeah. The sound design in this game is significantly worse than the other one. Uh, than the Gen 7 version. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot less ambiance and a lot more, you know, can video sound game sound noise. Effects, yeah. I don't know what that that collection sound is. Is uh, that a bird? What like a hawk? What? I don't fucking. Yeah. Let's try some practice gaps. Oh yeah, and also like they, I, maybe this is just an emulator thing, but like it gets drowned out by the music when mm -hmm. you know you go to these. But you know, perfect time to talk about the music, and I actually will probably want to talk about this in the Gen Seven version as well if someone only watches that. But you know, it's a pretty nice soundtrack. The same thing that they've done the last few games with having, uh, you know, three main genres like mm -hmm. punk, hip hop, rock, other. In punk, they have you know some classic some Sex Pistols, The Clash, you know. Mm -hmm. They actually have a Gorilla Biscuit song, which is interesting. Okay. I kind of mentioned back in American Wasteland how, like, Fall Out Boy covered a Gorilla Biscuit song, and that's how I got into it. But, uh, hip-hop, yeah. you know, some some fine stuff. Beastie Boys, Jurassic 5. I, you know, I don't listen to a lot of... Yeah. But, you know, Rock Other is pretty interesting. Uh, like, they got some stuff that was kind of big for alternative rock, like you heard the Foo Fighters earlier, mm -hmm. or like Angels and Airwaves, or uh, Silver Sun Pickups, you remember that band? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, they were indie darlings, like, back the year this game came out. Like, I got their first album because they had some songs in, like, Guitar Hero, and I really liked them, but I haven't thought about them in, like, a whole decade. Hey, brothers, I got that one on film right here. Yeah? Let me see. Well, you could look at it now, but you wouldn't see much. I gotta develop it first. It's, it's film, see? Oh, that's old school, man. <laughs> hey, dude, is there any other way? Hey, thanks for the show, guys. I gotta run. Hey, what's your name? Well, friends call me Cooper. Hey, stay stoked, dudes. That dude's got the right idea. Hey, if you're up for it, meet me back here and we'll skate some more. Uh, why are we small again? <laughs> I was about to ask. <laughs> I like, mean, you're not nearly as small, but Mike V was definitely looking down at you. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's really cool how, like, you get to see kind of angles in a cutscene that you didn't see in, you know, the Gen 7 version. Like, it, yeah, you know, and you get to see, you personally get to see c angles you've never seen in real life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, specifically like, up someone's nose. Yeah, like, specifically standing next to Mike V and having him talk to you. Yeah. You know. What Without would it be like to talk to Mike V as a teenager? Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 man, you gotta check this Jeff King vid out. Yeah? Well, let me see. I want to see what you guys come up with to shred. So build something, film yourself skating it, and send in the video. If your stuff is on point, you might just get a visit from me. Time to get to work. I despise Rube's outfit. It just looks horrible. Yeah, it's kind of like supposed to be a little wacky. His but, mouth is also pretty bad, but... Yeah. But, uh, hey, they got the, uh, the rigging system here in the Gen 6 version. Yeah, I was wondering if that was gonna... I mean, I guess they already had, like, create a park, so... It's not that crazy that they managed to fit rigging in, but... Actually, how... Do they have create a park in, like, Project 8 in this one? Well, I don't know about it in Project 8, but in previous games, they had to create a park, so... Right. You know, putting down stuff, that that's probably a system that they, they had sitting somewhere in the code. You know, that they could use. Yeah, actually. Probably Neversoft needed to completely build it in the new engine, but yeah. here, they could maybe have... Probably just used the old, old engine stuff and... Done a little bit more. Oh, recording this, recording this in the, is it, did they record this in the, the new engine? Uh, Because the if they 7? did, then they have to make sure that all the controls match. Yeah, the controls match, basically. Huh. Actually, in the Gen 7, when you rotate things, it basically rotates 45 degrees at a time. Um, yeah. But here, uh, I... It, you're not like it's not that oh it's free rotation yeah it's that yeah, thank you it's that free rotation uh, that's I would have thought it would be 90s okay maybe that was also from creative park didn't creative park have 90 degree ones I actually didn't really use creative park here in Tony 20 yeah. so I, I'm really trying to look up Jeff King on in because like like he has a you hold know, on you can put the, the ramp on top of the car uh, if it was green, then yeah. Sweet. Yeah. 
Man, that was actually pretty... <laughs> you could also bank drop too early. That was pretty uh, cool, except for the banking bank dropping too early. Yeah. So I'm... I, I'm yeah, Je I'm trying to look up Jeff King. Like, he has a video in this game, you know, like a quick little promo, you know, footage uh. of him video that I uh, skipped because I, you know, skip all the music and whatever. Sure. Especially with that one. That has the Sex Pistols song, and I feel like... Sex Pistols got me has gotten glow. you blocked before. Has yeah, I remember blocked. that. Yeah, Anarchy in the UK from Tony Hawk Four, um, I think. But uh, I'm just struggling. I say you just give up on looking up Jeff King. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna give up. Somebody in the comments tell us about Jeff King. Yeah, he's he's a builder. He builds the stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, great video. You got the right idea. Listen up. Cancel your plans because I'm coming your way for a demo in Philly. Oh yeah, and I'm crashing at your place tonight. Is did Jeff King just invite himself for some Netflix and chill? <laughs> I think he did. I think he. Am just I about to fuck him. Net? Uh, am I about to, <laughs> to fuck, fuck Jeff, Jeff King? You want me to get back to looking him up? Yeah, maybe you, you, you to look him up again. <laughs> no, I'm I'm closing this tab. Okay. All right. So once again, just like uh, Gen Seven version, you do those three to really get really learn nail the trick aggro kick and the rigging system, and now Tony Hawk is going to teach you about spot challenges. Oh, Antonio, thank you so much. Sounds like you can do it all. Career ripper, hardcore thrasher, rigging up your own spots. Yeah, that's me, all right. Just know there's lots more out there to do that'll help you progress your skating. Here, let me show you. Tony is really scary to look at. Yeah. Like, some of the, the other pros look all right, but Tony really looks like a wax figure. He looks kind of dead-eyed. Like, Mike V looked fine. Jeff King, his beard looked a little odd, but he looked fine. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Ardo. Um, Ardo fine. Sorry looked great. And Tony, something about his eyes really scares me. I think what happened is they wanted to make sure they got a level of detail on Tony that they maybe didn't put in so much effort on the others, but like that level of detail is not necessary, and it does not <laughs> add anything to yeah. it. And instead, it just makes him creepy looking. I don't know. But uh, note that they went with the new balance meters. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Recreated that. That's cool. Yeah. Here's another skill challenge. Made it kind of... Uh, what am I trying to say? Like, bolder and come in more towards you. Yeah. Compared to Jed 7. More centered. Where, where well, really, I mean, yeah. if you're playing on PS2, there's no guarantee you're going to be playing it on widescreen. So they have to do that, I think. Right. You know? Well, no, I guess... If it wasn't, if you're not playing on widescreen on the PS2, would it just stretch to fill the frame, or would it cut off the sides? No, I, I selected widescreen. Okay. Um, yeah, I could have selected default, and then it would have stretched everything. But this game does have a widescreen. It also has progressive scan, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. which is nice. Nice mid well skills. Hmm. <sighs> Are the, um, billboards randomized? No. Huh. So they're different in this game than they are in the other game. Because I, I the one over, uh, Rube over here was, uh, a your ad here thing, and here it's Quicksilver. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I a lot of was, Quicksilver ads, actually. I wasn't really bad. Yeah. I guess yeah, I only the noticed it because I saw the, the number, and I was wondering who that number was going to be, but then I was like, 555-something. Five, five, five so yeah, like, no. let's see. That's, yeah, audio, vans off the wall, Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they definitely did more with the billboards in the Gen 7 version again. There's, you know, more uh, graphical fidelity. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that yellow sign over there is for Hex something. Ah, it's too quick. Um, it's like Hex Cash or something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Grinds, manuals, hitting long lines. Skaters have left their marks for big airs, stalls, wall rides, not a spins, and more. You ready to hit this demo? I'm down for watching you guys. No, man, I'm saying you should skate in the demo. For real? Defo, man. I mean, it's not just up to me, but you should come by a little early and skate with the rest of the dudes. If they like you, you're in. It's over in Baltimore. Just show up. You'll be alright. I'll be there. Arno Sorry might be my my favorite dude. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Arno was in 
Underground One, but mm-hmm. he didn't really have a speaking role. He was just a you know selectable pro, and then right. he wasn't in you know Underground Two or American Wasteland or Project mm-hmm. Eight. But he came back with a vengeance, yeah, to have his own career episode. But yeah, so like here, there's not the open area. You have to change area. Um, but it is kind of cool. They show you not only like what episodes you can be in, but in the area that you are in, what episodes or what street goals can you do? Mm. Yeah. 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 Hawkman's here too. I yeah, guess. they've they've got uh the three classic mode kind of things, but here it's gonna be separated into, you know, you have to go to one machine to do one, you have to go to another machine in a different area to do another it's not like you could pick all three from one are wall plants are in the other one right yeah okay oh wow yeah so you got a wall plant over here wall plant over there yeah this jeez yeah. <laughs> i mean that seems hard you can always you know come back with better stats yeah but yeah yeah, so like, oh, and the, uh, the yeah, machine's so over here now. I'm going to show, like, classic mode Hawkman and such. So, yeah, this machine has high score run. I need to find machines in other places to do classic mode or, or Hawkman. And just like in the Jet 7 version, I'll do them here in Inner City Philly for this first episode to, you know, introduce the game. But I'll probably save the rest until ma- for maybe one episode to cover the and rest. And just re- re- yeah. run through all of them. Yeah. Whoa, but, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, in both versions, one of your starting special tricks is the 900. Yeah, because everybody starts with the 900 and then goes up from there. Right, right, yeah. You'll be doing Tony like, Hawk famously yeah. uh, stuck with the 900 for a long time. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's what made him famous. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, doing a 900 and then throwing a backflip in is worth what, like... 15,000 if you do a boneless or something that's you're all right your yeah. combo's already moving up oh man you got another minute yeah you can yeah. get sick yeah uh they also yeah, got rid is. of uh special mode in this version oh yeah you can do special tricks or focus mode at any time and i don't fo- know if they yeah oh, um to do focus mode they actually changed it it's two clicks and on the left thumbstick now mm, um, i don't like that and actually, you know, I complained Project 8 Gen 7 about how focus mode seemed to be tough to get into. Uh, two clicks Gen 7 here is fine, actually, whereas oh. this this version, two clicks sometimes doesn't work. Mm. Uh, so now in the Gen 6, I struggle with getting into focus mode reliably. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I when I was a small kid, I had a lot of trouble clicking thumbsticks. Um, like, I remember... When I played Halo 1 for the first time, I had so much trouble crouching under that, like in the Pillar of Autumn, there's that section where you're running two keys, Mm -hmm. and there's like, you have to crouch under a thing to get through. And like, when I was a kid, I could crouch, I could walk, I couldn't do both at the same time. I was so, so bad at it. And so like, the idea of having to click twice on the thumbstick, I'm like, there's a lot of people, like, I mean, I, I didn't have any, a, a developmental disorder or something, but there are people with, you know, yeah. developmental disorders who are going to have a lot of trouble clicking the thumbstick once, let alone twice in quick succession. You yeah, know? and I mean... But I mean, th- accessibility options are just not as, as uh, you know, as thought about, or, or were not as thought about uh, back in the day as they are now. Yeah, and I mean, they changed it because, well, they needed, you mm. know, L2, Room on the- well... They moved Nolly to just clicking it once, and they right. they moved Nolly from L2 to clicking it once, because now L2 is a, a new mechanic you'll learn about in a later episode. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's like... We still got more stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, basically each episode is really going to be built around, you know, another mechanic of the game. Uh, in this version, you saw there were only six episodes instead yeah. of nine. They could not do, or they did not do, the uh, third career hardcore or rigging. Oh, I see. And so, and so some mechanics that are in the Gen 7 version are just not in this one, which... Huh. Um, so they know, continue to add mechanics until the end of the game? Yeah, basically. Oh, that's kind of neat. 
or at least across the episodes. Like, you can, you know, I'm doing one full up. Well, actually, in Gen 7, I'm doing one full episode at a time. Here, I'm again doing one area at a time and whatever it gives me. But, like, yeah, it, those are both, in the Gen 7 version, very viable ways to do it. Like, start huh. each episode, get the mechanic, and then kind of tackle the full game, kind of going in between people, or follow one person's story through the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why uh, that wall ride was failing. You know, honestly, with all the button moving around that they did here, mm -hmm. I kind of wish they moved wall ride to a different button than, you know, triangle or Y. Because mm. more often in this game than in the previous games, I run into issues where a wall I want to wall ride is right next to something I can grind, and oh. grinding wins out. Uh, so I almost wish they moved wall ride to, like, a different button. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, so yeah, Hawkman was, like, the same line. Yeah. You know, yeah. Cool, and classic mode is basically the same. I mean, they were able to be really faithful, just lower the resolution of, like, everything, get rid of any moving parts. Yeah. Did they do the, like, melon over the, gar what was it, the dumpsters, I think? I believe so, yeah. Collect combo. Okay, we really don't need to see every letter on this. <sighs> That's okay. Yeah, just again, if I start... It's still weird to me that, like, I... I to, in, to my head, to my mind... Yeah, there it is. Um, to my mind, uh, the um, skate letters is very iconically a Tony Hawk thing. But Combo has been with, with the series for, at, like, for a very, very long time. A while, yeah. Almost the same amount of time as Skate, and yet I don't really think about s Combo as being like that classic Tony Hawk thing. Yeah, I mean... I maybe that's just me. I'm Well, I mean, you know, when people think classic Tony Hawk, it's really, you know, one through three. I mean, you Was know... Was Combo... See, when did Combo get added? Uh, four. Okay, yeah. Four, but you see, I mean, one and two remake, when after one and two, if they are going to add you know, more, it's very likely they'll add three, less likely they'll add four, you know? <laughs> like... Oh, by the way, speaking of the remake, I don't know if you saw, uh, 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 Grant sent that video to us of the, the remake level somebody made, uh, the Mario 64 castle oh, in remake. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, that reminded me of that conversation we had about, like, I really hope people are really taking advantage of that level creator. It sounds yeah. like they are. Yeah, they... Someone made, uh, Andy's room from yeah. Disney Stream Skate Adventure. And I'm like, you know, it's oh. like if you could make it, if you could play it in Thug Pro, someone's making it in the remake, which yeah. makes me hope. All right, guys, this is the time to make all the Gravity Games bike levels and get them in a good engine. Holy shit, you should just do that. The what? Gravity Games bike levels aren't that complicated. Ah, uh, excuse me, they're all like five miles wide. That's true. I, and I don't even really know them. Like, I. I haven't played the game in forever. I only saw our boy Zindictive's full playthrough recently. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Zin to do it. Yeah, ask Zin to make all the levels. Hashtag ask Zin. Um, ha okay. Hashtag uh, full remaster. <laughs> if we can't get a hashtag full LP from Insetic, we're going to ask him to try to push for a remaster. Yeah, get a remaster. Which is even part. harder. Yeah. Which would be much, much harder to, for Insetic to accomplish. You're right. Hashtag full remaster. Uh huh. That's something I can get behind since I only I don't I don't need to. You wouldn't really need do to. Anything. Yeah, you wouldn't really need to do anything. Is does Gravity Games still exist? No. Oh. <laughs> Gravity Games was one of those things where like I think. It was there for a few years, but shut down like a year or two after the Do you think game. we could buy the license for it? Uh, I don't know. Is anyone <laughs> a lawyer? I, I mean, they'd probably sell the license for like five cents, but I just yeah, don't exactly. know who to ask. Like, I can't just email Midway or whatever, you know? Yeah, I think they shut down too. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. This is a real conundrum we're in. I'm knowledgeable in some things, but not in others. Yeah. If anybody in the comment section owns the license to Gravity <laughs> Games... Or, or knows how we can get the license. Yeah. I'm okay so, with black market shenanigans if needed. 
Okay, you probably shouldn't admit that in the I video. I break the but... law on a on a weekly, if not daily, basis. Okay. Yeah, I'm breaking the law right now, actually. Really? What are you doing? That's breaking the law. Well, I, I I I don't want to say that's you know. That's fair. That's TMI. I that's like entrapment. To, I like to let people know I'm breaking the law without actually telling them what I'm doing. You know. Yeah. In the immortal words of Zax, I'll never tell. It's it's not actually about breaking the law. It's the rush of that I get from telling people right. that I'm breaking the law. Not the rush you get from breaking the law <laughs> enough for them to stop me. Yeah. It's basically the um. It's the same feeling. You remember the in the movie The Mask when he goes, "Somebody stop me." Yeah. You're trying to live that over and over and over. Yeah. Yeah, somebody stop me. Yeah. Please. And you say it that way, too. Not like the guy, <sighs> not like Jim Carrey in the mask. You say, somebody, somebody stop, stop me. me. Or maybe you're trying to relive the joy that was the, uh, what, the 2017 movie or whatever year that movie came out, The Snowman. I gave you all the clues, Mr. Policeman. Uh. You remember that? No. Oh, man. That movie... I don't watch uh, things, you know that. I didn't watch the movie either, but the thing is, like, apparently, f like, according to the director, about 40% of the, the film was not filmed. 40% of the script just wasn't filmed, and they had to oh. cut it together <laughs> Damn. with what they had. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so bad. That sounds so sad, too, because, like, everybody acting in the movie is trying their best. And, you know, the, it's based on a series of books that are supposed to be very good. And because they had to cut so much stuff. They just only filmed half of a movie. They just filmed half a movie, and then it, like, apparently, like, it, it's incoherent now. I kind of want to watch that. Right? Like, doesn't that make you want to... <laughs> I'm like yeah, the, we get uh, to get back into bad movie nights or whatever. Yeah, the flop, the flop house did a video about, or not a video. The flop house did a, a podcast about, um, about the snowman, and it's a really interesting listen. But, um, I really yeah. just want to watch the movie. Yeah. And actually, uh, Folding Ideas also has a really good video about the about the, the movie. Okay. Yeah. So if you if you if you don't have time to watch the movie, maybe watch that video. Yeah. So note that the uh, basically the skills. Uh, for the ones that they do have are basically the same mm -hmm. as uh, Gen 7, but the costs are lower. It's 30 points and 60 points rather than 50 and 100. I see. Yeah, so, y you know, actually, yeah, you'll you'll be able to buy things faster in this version. So, like, just in Inner City Philly, I got, you know, better, you know, larger aggro kick window and uh, then something for Neil the Trick. Stakes, hoagies, bar... Yeah. Oh, you can go in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's roof access up here to where you, you know, had to do that big gap. But yeah, yeah so like I did everything I could in Inner City Philly. Again, uh, in this version, I'll basically, well, the game is area to area based. So each video, I'll go to a new area and do everything in it, even if it mashes you. the stories around and, you know, either spoils a lot or makes yeah. you confused at what's going on. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I mean, to actually, to play, it's pretty good to play. Seems like it. Yeah, yeah, and I hope, you you know, you check it out. But yeah, yeah, that's the start of Tony Hawk's Proving Ground.